Why won't you sign it? Let me explain something to you about business, since, as usual, you're turning this into something about yourself. No contract means I have all the power. They want me, but they can't have me. You're right. <laughs> I need to calm down. Who is he visiting? Is this Charles Whitmore? Wake up, Charles. Ooh. I'm about to give this man a knife. It's about to be a bloody birthday. Yeah. Are you ready? What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, I'm prefacing everything I'm about to say tonight by letting you guys know that i don't do shit on friday nights okay unless i have to but also i am not in the best of um health so i'm pushing myself right now to get this done i am in a lot of pain meaning my my arm my left arm i have inflammation in my left arm Right up to my left shoulder here. Um, so I'm in a lot of pain, but HBO decided to drop this because the Super Bowl is on Monday. Um, so they decided to drop the episode tonight. So I'm going to try to record this episode and get it out for y'all. So your responsibility, <laughs> your responsibility for watching this tonight or tomorrow morning, whenever you watch the Saturday morning or Friday night, your responsibility will be to hit the like button. <laughs> okay, hit the like button because boy, let me let me tell y'all something. I am I'm me I'm I'm being a man tonight. <laughs> I am being a man tonight. So if you see me just out of nowhere during this video, just grimacing, that's just because. Trust me, right now I'm in a lot of pain. I went in a lot of pain. Um, that ibuprofen, <laughs> whatever the doctors decided to give me, it, it is not working. <laughs> it is not working. So I'm still in a, in a lot of pain, but I'm pushed through for y'all. Okay? Because I know y'all want to see the reactions, however in many of y'all out there. So please, hit the like button. That's your responsibility. Hit the like button. Leave a comment. All right, don't just watch the video, please. And just for the sake of that, I'm gonna ask you guys again, do you guys want me to release the full reaction for y'all? If you guys do that on this video, if you guys do that on this video, I will release the full versions for everybody to see for all the previous episodes as well. But for now, if you guys wanna watch full full reaction for the episodes, they released on Patreon, so you can go and get into that as well. Anyways, The Last of Us, <laughs> episode five. Whew, I am, I am dealing with it. <laughs> Cause trust me, I don't think the human body should should be in this kind of pain it, ever. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like it, it should, it shouldn't be. But I'm, I'm gonna grit my teeth. I'm gonna get this done for y'all, man. Well, I'll jump into the reaction, and I will see you guys right after for the review. Let's go. They're having a party. Damn, you saw what they doing to the Fedra agents, man? Damn! Hey, yo! Is this like a flashback of um, of Henry and Sam? Or where we left off at that last episode?
I have no fury, my guy. scared of these people. Now look at them. How does it make you feel now? Okay, so well, I'm Kathleen is a bitch. All right. For you. <laughs> no one here has to die first. You have to do something for me. Where is Henry? Your informers. Inform. Where is Henry? You see that it oh, that he took over? Know. Ours is a different one. Kill them. He's with Edel's team. Where are they? He said he was meeting up with Henry and Sam. So all these are collaborators. He had a place to hole up in the open city. Hole up where? He didn't say. You're a rat. You can wait him out. Door to door, take a lot of men, and there are other things that probably. He's need. not my seventh priority, Perry. Is that what he is to you? Are we really putting them on trial? That is Tommy's yeah. voice, though. <laughs> we are not really putting them. Now that I'm really listening to when him, is really his voice. Bodies, it's faster. All right, Kathleen. I see you. You know. So I'm guessing they're showing like what happened before they ambushed. Well, not ambushed, but they saw Joel and Ellie. Uh, this is the doctor that got killed. Ah. Uh, I'm sure they don't know about this. Yes. The doctor did help that way. Bedra officer. So we're fucked on food. Ammunition? Empty. Yeah, so is mine. We weren't shooting our way out of this anyway. No. So we'll sneak our way out. Oh. Tunnels? Tunnels? Why go to the trouble? You can kill yourself right here. <sighs> From what we know, he does not come back. So they probably see what happens to Joel and Ellie from up here that the day at that day. Well, I'll tell you what, best thing to do when you're hungry and can't eat, sleep. <laughs> I'll tell you that from personal experience, my friend. Yeah. Yeah, so they heard what happened with Joel and Ellie. So they probably just followed them the whole time. <laughs> They'd be like, you gotta make it convincing, man. Joel! Eyes on me. Eyes on me. We don't want to hurt you. We want to help you. Okay. I don't know what the next step is with something like this, but if I lower my gun, we didn't hurt you, so you don't hurt us. Like a plan. That's right. That's a weird fucking tone, man. That's just the way he sounds. He has an asshole voice. Joe, tell him he's okay. Okay. Listen. He's like drunk. <laughs> that sounded I'm gonna trust you. <laughs> Can I sit up? Yeah. My name's Henry. It's my brother Sam. I'm the most wanted man in Kansas City. You guys are. I guess he's running a close second. I'm Joel. Look, you ate. We didn't kill each other. Let's call this a win win and move on. We all came up here to get a view of the city and plan a way out. And when the sun's up, I'll show you one. Welcome to Killer City. No, Fedra. Not as of 10 days ago, no. You always heard Casey and Fedra with monsters, savages, raped and tortured and murdered people for 20 years. Hey, you know what happens oh, when you do that to people? So they probably deserved all that shit. They were chance. Keep being you know done to them. <laughs> but you're not Fedra. We still don't want to become the people that we're Clark. trying to get rid of, though. You know what I mean? Why help us? I saw what you did. We killed he those men. He could be in his 20s. Never killed anyone. 
and pointing an unloaded gun at you is the closest I've ever come to being violent. I show the way, you clear the way. Fear. <laughs> okay. Been in a long time. So how are we getting out? We're gonna do tic-tac-toe, all right. <laughs> Highways, downtown. Boom. Kansas City has a subway? No, but they do have maintenance tunnels. We enter the tunnels here, travel underground, and pop up here. West side north, residential. Um, pedestrian bridge over the river. Free? Free as a bird. Yeah, you're right. It's a great plan. <laughs> you notice anything strange about this city? I mean, other than the strange shit you've already seen? No infected? Oh. There's infected. Fedja drove them underground 15 years ago and never let them come back up. It's only a good thing those fascist motherfuckers. Uh, so you want us going into a tunnel? You see, what I know is, it's empty. You've been down there. It's not empty. No, but the federal guy that I worked with told me that it's clean. Okay, maybe there's one nope. or two. I wouldn't trust. Well, we know that it's not empty because we saw the thing move in last episode. You ran into a clicker. If it gets bad down there, we turn around run right back out the same way we came. Oh, that's your great plan? No, that's my dicey as fuck plan. It's only shot. It's better than nothing. See? It's empty. The plan is good. That's kind of a pessimist. I'm not my dad. dad. Just point your light forward. You'd be ready to run. He might as well be. In a tie. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what this makes you feel like you want to break out the no. the movie trailer you. voice. All things considered, seems kind of cruel. Yeah. Mm. To send a whole army after you for that. You know, I wasn't uh, exactly telling you the truth before. About what? About me not killing someone. No, never afraid. Never selfish. He's always forgiving. The kind of man you'd follow anywhere. I mean, I wanted to. Sam, he, uh, he got sick. Leukemia. There was one drug that worked. And, whoa, big shock. There wasn't much left of it. And it belonged to Fedra. So I gave him something big. That one great man. The leader of the resistance movement in Kansas City. Catherine's brother. Ah. Yeah. So, still think they should take it easy on me? The answer is easy. That's why she wants to I wants Henry so bad. bad. Because I did a bad guy thing. You did it for your brother though, so I I okay. don't know. You know what I mean? You might not be her father, but you were someone's. See, I could tell. He knows exactly. Joel knows exactly what you're talking about, bro. He was so beautiful. I'm not. He would be horrified by the things I've done. And if you've come to tell me that Michael wouldn't want me to hurt Henry, I know that too. He told me. He told me to forgive. And what did he get for that? I guess, I guess he understood why Henry did what it. Is the justice in that, what is the point of that? The brother was a great man. We all loved him. Apparently, Henry loved him too. But he didn't not as much as his brother. Anything. We're with you. I want to know out of everybody, why did she become the leader after her brother? That's. <laughs> yeah, I see? Well, we're going to Wyoming. What? It's a huge state. It can fit two more people. No, he'll change his mind, trust me. This is how it goes. He's like, no, LA never, ever, ever <laughs> And then I'm just, and he's like, whoa! Whoa, whoa! Go! I'm gonna go around, try to get in the house through the back, and then I'll take him out. But if you go out there, he's gonna kill you. It's dark and he has shit aim, nobody's gonna kill me. Then he's gonna kill us. You trust me? Put 
the gun down. Slide it over to me. That's all you have to do. Please don't do it. Damn, bro. Oh, damn. No, no, no. Run! Oh, crap. You need to run. Stop trying to shoot behind you. Oh, he got me. Ellie, get up. Move. Nice. Ellie, get up, man. Dead end, Henry. You want to step on out? Save us some time? That's all right. Doesn't matter. I'll come out. Just let the kids go. You don't understand. But I do. I know why you did what you did. Did you ever stop to think that maybe he was supposed to die? He's just a fucking kid. Well, kids die, Henry. He's officially a bitch. <laughs> officially, man. Everything? Get ready to take him and run. Yes. Do it. It's time, Henry. Enough. It ends the way it ends. Really? You just gonna shoot? Oh! Here we go! Eee! Swallow that truck. Look at this fucking crater. What a time. Yo! Come on! <laughs> she out here! What the hell was that? Oh, a bloater is here! He heavy! Nothing! Run! Bro, I'm not... Stop moving. That's a kid. That is a kid, Ellie. I don't know. Where is Sam and Henry? Oh, they're under the truck. She knows. This is Call of Duty right now. He's hard scoping everything. What? He's in that zombie's lobby. Let's go. Now I need to get out of dodge. Oh my god. Kathleen, get over yourself. This is what happens when... Yeah. Mm -mm. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> my god. That was possibly the best scene of the series so far. Hey, yo, I completely forgot. Like, I get immersed into this and I forgot. And the pain has eased up a little bit and I forgot about it a little bit. So, yeah, let's go, Last of Us. <laughs> you turn into a monster. Is it still you inside? He got bit. Uh. medicine yeah but sam ain't gonna last that long though mm. drink your blood that's not going to heal him applying it like that they ain't no damn way this is definitely some video game stuff <laughs> Mm. 
why they gotta make this so sad, bro? I mean, it is a sad situation. I think you wanna be careful there. That might not be Sam anymore. At least I don't think so. Bruh. Okay. I guess he wanted to do it himself. Bruh. Man. What a fucking episode this was. My God, yo, bruh. Which way's west? It's ugly, man. Let's go. I think now is when Joel is starting to realize that, you know what I'm saying, that Ellie is starting to become something precious for him. Brother man, brother man, what an episode of TV, man. Wow, wow. What an episode of TV. What an episode of TV. I couldn't have written that, acted it <laughs> any better, directed it any better, sound effects any better. Everything was on point. You guys that are out there saying that The Last of Us is not a good show. I actually had to delete a comment today. I had to delete a comment on the channel today as somebody was just being so inflammatory, no pun intended, because of my shoulder <laughs> about this entire, about the show. Yeah, I mean, I wish I didn't delete it yet. I could have read it to you guys, but I had to delete a comment today that came in. And I was like, why? It's unnecessary to be this way about something. Okay, you don't like it? Don't watch it. Why are you here still? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Why are you here still complaining? Why are you here, man? All right. So let's talk about the episode because I've talked enough about these haters. I've talked enough about them. I'm going to stop giving them the time of day. This was an excellent, another excellent episode of The Last of Us, episode five. And we got a treat. We only had to wait five days. Well, not really five full days, but you get you get the point. Five days we had to wait to watch this episode because the Super Bowl is this Sunday. So they decided to release the episode early on Friday night. So um, cool that HBO decided to do that because they they know they weren't going to get the numbers like damn near 50 million people watch the Super Bowl every year and the numbers are probably going to be even crazier this year. So they know nobody's really going to take the break to really you know what i'm saying like watch this you know take an hour out of watching the super bowl to watch the last of us you know the numbers are not going to be good so they decided to release the episode early i'm glad that they didn't decide to skip a week you get what i'm saying i think this was the better decision to release the episode early because um instead of having us wait until the week after to watch episode five they could have easily they could have skipped a week you know what I'm saying? But I'm glad that they decided, oh, let's release the episode early and let them rally back next week, next week, um, Sunday for episode six. So that was a great decision by HBO. Um, so kudos to them. Kudos to them. I think this was an awesome decision. Um, the acting in this episode, I've talked about Kathleen. And I know some of you guys might not agree with me, but that's OK. We all can have different opinions. Just don't be toxic about your opinion. It's it's. You know, the end of the day is just an opinion, right? Um, the problem that I have with Kathleen, it's not that they didn't choose choose a good actress to do it. And it's not like they didn't do a good job of finding a person that could play the role. I just felt like she was a little lackluster in certain scenes. Like that scene where she was talking to Perry should have been a lot more emotional than that. Like that, that scene, I didn't feel her. 
I didn't feel what she was talking about. Like I felt like pretty much all the lines that she delivered were very lackluster and I didn't really feel her pain of losing her brother. Like I felt like it was just another day for her. You get what I'm saying? Maybe that's what they were going for. I don't think that's what they were going for. It was very hard to understand this character that you that was a new character you're introducing into the story. It was very hard to understand her. And I, I, it's not that she didn't get great lines to deliver. It's that they, they weren't delivered correctly. I think it was very lackluster. And I've seen her in so many other different things. I don't understand where this weak ass performance came from. And that's just me because, as I said, this is just my opinion on the performance. You guys might feel different about it, but I felt like this, I felt like that was the only part of it, but she was not a major character. She wasn't there enough for me to be like, why is she still here? I'm glad she's dead. Let's just put it like that. Um, even when you finally come face to face with Henry, like, you you there should be some more emotion there like you know what i'm saying like you're face to face with the, with the the person that is responsible for the death of your brother because he gave him up to 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 fedra and and you're not furious you're not like no tears we should get some angry tears you know what i'm saying you know what i mean just losing it you know what I mean? If you're gonna give a if if you're gonna give a monologue there, because you know the villain speech or whatever, it's gotta be delivered better than that, man. It's gotta be delivered better than that. And I feel like that was very lackluster um on the actress's part. I don't think that she had bad lines. I heard the lines. I think there were good lines that were written for the character to have. I just don't felt like they were delivered correctly. So maybe this is the one and only time that I can say that this was not the best casting. You said, cause I know earlier on in the episode I was saying, was there any, do you guys feel like there was any bad casting? Cause I felt like even Kathleen was a good casting until the end of this episode. And now I'm feeling based on what happened in the episode. Cause, cause in episode four, she was convincing to me. She was, she was convincing. She went in there and just popped the doctor. I was like, okay she means business you know what i'm saying and the thing about it is that where, where i was making fun of the whole thing with with her right i was making fun and i was saying that people were saying that you know why did they have a woman leading you know what i'm saying because you know how the world is today some people just don't like to see it uh me personally sometimes don't really like to see it either because i think that sometimes in when it comes on to it's always questionable you get what I'm saying? But I've also seen in the past of watching other TV shows, I've seen women leading men or leading a group or whatever, and they can be really vicious. They can take on that role and, you know what I'm saying, and tap into their masculinity and lead men. You know what I'm saying? So there's no shade there, at least not from me. So when I saw that, I was like, oh, she's perfect. She's perfectly fine. And that's why I said, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want to see a woman upset and take charge of shit? Do something to them. <laughs> Just do something bad to them. Take something from them and get them all up in their emotions. And you will see the fury that they can bring. Right? And mind you, as I said, I think, as I said, it's, it's a bit of a letdown, in my opinion, when it comes on. To Kathleen's character and as I said I wasn't judging her as I, I think she was a good leader towards them but also she fell short of being a leader as well because she should have taken care of the infected and stopped worrying about Henry but she was so lost in revenge she forgot that this could happen at any moment I see stuff moving underground bruh that don't matter they, <laughs> That revenge can come later or let them escape, whatever the situation is, because the infected are more dangerous than anything else. Overall, this episode was great. As I said at the end there, Joel is starting to realize that Ellie means a lot to him. And as I said, in the ongoing episodes, you guys are definitely going to see that that relationship develop if you have not played the game. Um, 
you know what i'm saying and, I, and i'm just so happy to see them driving that force from the last episode coming into this one and showing that contrast between henry and sam and ellie and joel right that was that was very well done man and henry and sam shout out to the actors that played them spot on well done yes there was a change they made sam deaf stop complaining because you know some people's gonna be like why did they make sam deaf it was a better choice in my opinion it was great if you guys have the chance to watch the actual inside the eight inside the episode um thing that they do at the end of the episodes every time where they're explaining why they make these changes to the sh to the show you will more understand where the directors what they're trying to do and how they're trying to accomplish it right so i think this was great um the sign language the asl that was in the episode was well done as well and to find out that sam is actually deaf in real life very cool as well um it wasn't somebody pretending to be deaf um so that was cool to find out as well that was very cool so um I'm so happy that, you know, people that are have some sort of disability still can have live out their dreams, if you will, of being actors and actresses and, and, and stuff like that. I think that is very cool that they went and got an authentically deaf person, if that's a thing. <laughs> authentically deaf? Who says that? <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> they went out and got a person that's actually deaf. To play the role that was really cool they brought in the asl team and everything that um you know um bella bella ramsey and also the guy that played henry i don't know his name um they both learned at asl on set so that was pretty cool to know as well this was an excellent episode man hands down definitely one of the best episode off this of the series so far I don't know if it's going to end up being the best at the end. I don't think it is. Cause I, I think still, man, episode three is hard to beat. Even though a lot of people don't like it. <sighs> Even though a lot of people don't like episode three, I think it's still the best directed, acted, everything just a, in a single episode. If you're talking about the story so far overall, I think episode one is still the best episode so far. Um, but other than that, I enjoyed this episode. Episode five was great. Joel was great. Ellie was great. Henry was great. Sam was great. You know what I'm saying? And of course, Kathleen was very lackluster and man, that bloater that killed Perry, man, do wow. How did they get that bloater to look so good? Is that CGI or was that an actual like tall person that they just put a bunch of stuff on bro that was crazy good that was crazy good that was awesome dude like it made me forget my pain the amount of adrenaline i was having in that scene complete i forgot that i had pain in on my left side <laughs> you know what i'm saying that was pretty cool man love the episode let me know what you guys thought of this episode in the comment section. Please, guys, like the damn video, man. One of the things that I can't understand about my channel, people don't... You know what? If you don't like what I have to say, hit the dislike button, man. There's nothing wrong with that. You, you don't like it. You don't like my reaction. That's cool. Interact with the video. Do something. Don't just watch the video and leave, please. I appreciate you guys. I'm trying to get the channel to grow help a brother out you know what i'm saying just hit the like button subscribe if you like the content there's other stuff that we're watching we're also watching over on the patreon right now we're way ahead in lost we're way ahead in Mad Men. we're um we just started bates motel over there we're watching gomorra we're in season two so if you guys enjoy any of those shows we're currently watching those on patreon right now so you can go check them out okay it's not just the last of us but i love y'all either way <laughs> <laughs> but help a brother out man you know what i'm saying i'm, I'm trying to grow out here you know what i'm saying <laughs> anyways guys thank you guys so much i appreciate y'all man leave a like leave a comment catch you guys for the next one man peace